Hey, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Super Micro CSC 823 chassis and specifically the motherboards that go inside the X8 DTE, the X8 DTE F, the X8 DT6, and the X8 DT6 F. Let's get rolling. Hey, thanks for stopping by to learn a little bit more about the Super Micro X8 DTE and X8 DT6 family of motherboards. If you find anything useful in today's video, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, we're going to get started with the CPUs to begin with. There are two CPUs inside. Uh, it's an LGA1366 socket. It uses Intel Xeon 5500 or 5600 series CPU. People ask us what we recommend. I say, uh, personally, I like to get two hex cores with this. Uh, you can get some cheap hex cores uh, for under 100 bucks for a pair nowadays, uh, where you can get uh, something like uh, X5650, X5660, X5670, E5645. All these are really good, reliable options that'll get you uh, 12 cores in your machine, uh, and it'll be uh, running at a good uh, overall speed. So uh, that's what I recommend for CPUs. Regarding RAM, it takes DDR3 memory. There's 12 DIMM slots inside. Uh, you can use a number of different speeds, as low as 1066, uh, 1333, or up to 1600. I will note, if you're using 1600, it will clock down to 1333. I only tell people about 1600 just in case you have some laying around that, yes, it will work. Or if you can get it at the same price as 1333, you might as well go ahead and buy it, because maybe, hey, you can use it later on in life. Um, but I always like to you know, note that if, if you're wanting to get to that speed, it, it is going to clock down. Okay. Uh, as far as the sizes, you can go 2 gig, 4 gig, uh, 8 gig, or all the way up to 16 gig. No unfortunately 32 gigs just don't work with this machine so the highest you're going to get is 16 gig you can use uh, one type of memory well I guess technically you can use ECC on buffer but really you can use one type of memory and that is ECC registered uh, with ECC registered you can get a max of 192 gigabytes using 12 16 gigs at 1333 for the speed okay now that we know a little bit more about the uh, the memory and the CPUs let's go ahead and uh, bust it open uh, I want to show you the insides I want to show you the channels I want to show you how to properly load everything uh, uh, but before we do, I'm going to grab my ESD gear. You never really want to be inside a machine without your ESD gear because you could potentially damage the machine. So I'm going to grab it and be right back. All right, we're safe to open the machine. Like a lot of the Super Micro chassis, you're just going to push these two tabs down, pull back, and lift the top open. Nice and simple. All right, you will notice that there is an air baffle that is, that is blocking uh, CPU 1 and CPU 2. So you're going to want to take uh, your hand put it right here. There's two clips over here, and you're going to want to lift it up. I will note the uh, cables right here are in a very tight squeeze, so you need to be kind of careful when you're pulling this up. It's not a great design um, for the air baffle standpoint. Uh, some of the newer systems from Supermicro I like a lot better um, when it comes to that uh, standpoint. So, all right, now that we're in, we discussed before there's two CPUs, CPU 1 controls the six DIMM slots over here. CPU2 controls the six DIMM slots over here. This is important uh, for a number of reasons, but if you, most importantly being if you were only using one CPU, you could not install any memory over here. You'd have to install all your modules over here. I like to point that out just to be safe in case uh, someone was only running one CPU. But for a machine this old, you should definitely be old, uh, running two CPUs, because as I said, you can get some hex cores for pretty cheap nowadays, okay? Uh, on CPU1, you will notice uh, that there are uh, some black and blue slots. Uh, Supermicro has color coded them to let you know the start of the channel. So right here, the blue slot that is open right now, or the tab is pushed open, that is A1, the start of the first channel. Then you have A2 and A3. Okay, so if you were only putting in, let's just say six modules and you did have two CPUs inside, you'd want to put them in each of the blue slots and the reason being is you want to uh, spread your RAM evenly across each memory channel uh, so that you can maximize your overall performance. Um, if you had let's just say a few channels that were completely overloaded and a few channels that weren't getting any use at all then you're not maximizing uh, the potential output of your server. Okay so that's uh, the first thing I want to note. Um, the, uh, the next tip I actually have before I start installing, you need to make sure you have all your tabs open. You don't have to do it, but it just makes it a lot easier when you get in there and you start putting DIMMs inside that you're not fumbling around uh, and you don't have a module uh, or you don't have a tab uh, blocking a module from getting installed. Okay. Uh, the next thing I like to point out before you install it is that 
uh, right here is a notch in the in the leads and this notch is known as a key this key is really important because uh, while it looks like it's in the middle it's not perfectly centered so when you go to install it into the dim slot uh, it, it needs to be aligned perfectly because if you have it uh, facing the wrong way you can damage the module itself or even worse you could damage the dim slot which would potentially throw the whole channel off uh, and then you might have to replace the motherboard uh, this would not be a, a situation that you'd like so you just need to make sure you line it up properly so I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put it into a1 okay and I'm gonna put the next one here over into a2 and what I'm actually gonna do and this is a tip I personally like to do I'm gonna go to a3 just because it's a, you see how tight that squeeze is. Once you start installing them, it's tough. There's not a lot of space over there. Um, so once you fire the machine up, it doesn't really matter which way you you put them in as long as you have them in the right slots, right? Okay, so I've got them in the first three channels, A1, A2, A3, okay? Uh, now what I want to note is that these modules are not fully seated. Now a problem that we see, unfortunately, all too often is a customer will say, hey, uh, we have a failed module, uh, I you know, booted up my machine and it's not registering. Uh, more often than not, we'll tell people to rotate their modules around. More often than not, what it is is that the module's not fully seated, so you need to make sure you hear this click, click one, click two, click one, click two, click one, click two. Okay, so now if you look at the actual tabs versus the black tabs, the blue tabs versus the black tabs, the blue ones, they're all fully in. And you'll see the black ones are all kind of jetted out, still sticking out. Well, that's important. That, that's how you know that the modules are fully in seated. And that's one of the things that I always tell people when you go to uh, check your modules after you've installed them all, you want to make sure that none of the tabs are sticking out. So at the very end, I always just double check all my tabs to make sure that everything has been um, uh, fully seated uh, because you know I tell people all the time I don't care if you've been doing this 20 years this is your first day on the job uh, it's an easy mistake to make I've done it unfortunately all too often and it's just like I said an easy thing to do okay so I'm gonna install this last one over here and then when I do the last six I'll fast forward it uh, so that you guys don't have to watch me do each each individual one click and then another click over here okay now we're gonna fast forward all right so just like that took a matter of a couple of minutes and I was able to easily put in 12 16 gigs uh, increase the overall capacity to 192 gigabytes which is going to be a huge bump in performance for this machine um, really like I, I always say it's, a, it's an easy upgrade and if you're looking to extend the life of your server and you don't want to have to go you know buy a brand new x11 or x12 because that's the kind of stuff that's out there right now um, you know and I get it because that's you know thousands and thousands tens of thousands of dollars you can easily spend a couple hundred bucks uh, upgrade your ram nice band-aid for your server for you know extend the life for a couple more years until you do have to make that leap to the next and hey by the time you do that you know x11s will be you know used and on the market and you can get those for hey you know probably under a thousand bucks for a really nice configuration and, and you can do that in a couple years from now so all right so now we're going to go ahead and put the air baffle back on uh, one of the things I'll note, you need to basically put these two tabs into the little slots right here, and you need to be careful about, a, well, a couple of things. One, the um, the cables that these go around, and this tends to like to uh, push the um, the tab open and it'll get stuck, and you need to be careful. So if you're trying to jam it in and it's not working, just make sure that you haven't accidentally pushed this tab open, okay? So we're going to go ahead and gingerly do this because, as I said, it's kind of tough. All right, so we got them hooked around the cables to start. Now we're going to push these in. All right, there we go, and slide this down. Everything is nice and flush. I'm going to double check. Yep, nice and flush. All right, now we're just going to put the top back on, and hey, we just upgraded it to the max possible capacity, and it was just that easy. So hey, if you made it this far, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe, and if you're looking for any upgrades for, for your server, please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. We'd love to help you out, and we appreciate your business. Take care, and have a great day.